The New Testament in a Year with Psalms and Proverbs. Day 82, Hebrews 1. God's Word through His Son. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors many times and in many ways through the prophets. But in these last days, He has spoken to us through His Son. He is the one through whom God created the universe, the one whom God has chosen to possess all things at the end. He reflects the brightness of God's glory and is the exact likeness of God's own being, sustaining the universe with His powerful word. After achieving forgiveness for the sins of all human beings, he sat down in heaven at the right side of God, the supreme power. The greatness of God's Son. The Son was made greater than the angels, just as the name that God gave him is greater than theirs. For God never said to any of his angels, You are my Son. Today I have become your Father. Nor did God say about any angel, I will be his father, and he will be my son. But when God was about to send his firstborn son into the world, he said, All of God's angels must worship him. But about the angels, God said, God makes his angels winds, and his servants flames of fire. About the son, however, God said, Your kingdom, O God, will last forever and ever. You rule over your people with justice. You love what is right and hate what is wrong. That is why God, your God, has chosen you and has given you the joy of an honor far greater than he gave to your companions. He also said, You, Lord, in the beginning created the earth, and with your own hands you made the heavens. They will disappear, but you will remain. They will all wear out like clothes. You will fold them up like a coat, and they will be changed like clothes. But you are always the same, and your life never ends. God never said to any of his angels, Sit here at my right side until I put your enemies as a footstool under your feet. What are the angels then? They are spirits who serve God and are sent by him to help those who are to receive salvation. Psalm 51, a prayer for forgiveness. Be merciful to me, O God, because of your constant love. Because of your great mercy, wipe away my sins. Wash away all my evil and make me clean from my sin. I recognize my faults. I am always conscious of my sins. I have sinned against you, only against you, and done what you consider evil. So you are right in judging me. You are justified in condemning me. I have been evil from the day I was born. From the time I was conceived, I have been sinful. Sincerity and truth are what you require. Fill my mind with your wisdom. Remove my sin, and I will be clean. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear the sounds of joy and gladness. And though you have crushed me and broken me, I will be happy once again. Close your eyes to my sins and wipe out all my evil. Create a pure heart in me, O God, and put a new and loyal spirit in me. Do not banish me from your presence. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. Give me again the joy that comes from your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach sinners your commands and they will turn back to you. Spare my life, O God, and save me, and I will gladly proclaim your righteousness. Help me to speak, Lord, and I will praise you. You do not want sacrifices, or I would offer them. You are not pleased with burnt offerings. My sacrifice is a humble spirit, O God. You will not reject a humble and repentant heart. O God, be kind to Zion and help her. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with proper sacrifices and with our burnt offerings. And bulls will be sacrificed on your altar. Amen.